part two, what we did was, given a projectile that was shot at an angle, we found out what the horizontal distance was that it traveled to where it landed. What I want to do in this part is, I want to find out what the impact velocity is. The projectile goes along this path and hits the ground over here. It hits the ground at an angle, so I'm going to need an angle, and it hits at a certain velocity, and that's what I want to calculate. Okay? So this is the impact velocity. I'm just going to label it final so I don't get confused with V1, or sorry, V2 vertical. This is the final vertical component, but it is not the final velocity. So here's my final velocity. Here are the two pieces that make it up. This is the horizontal component of the final velocity, and this is the vertical component. And this is the final vertical velocity. This velocity here is that component. So I'm going to have to find these two to find this, and then I'm going to have to use these two to find the angle that it uh, impacts the ground at. Well, the horizontal is easy, because the horizontal velocity never changed. The entire time the projectile is in flight, the horizontal component stays the same. So the horizontal component here was 173, so when it impacts the ground, the horizontal is still the same. In the vertical, though, it's accelerating. It's going up and going down. As a result, uh, the initial vertical velocity was 100 meters per second up, but when it impacts the ground, it's going to be this down. So how do I calculate that? Well, I look at my vertical column, and I've got one, two, three, four, more than enough variables to find it. So I have a choice of a couple of equations. I'm going to use V2 vertical equals V1 plus AT. So V2 vertical equals V1, 100, plus gravity is negative 9.8, and T we solved for in part two, that was 20.8 seconds. So V2 vertical ends up being negative 104 meters per second. It's negative 104 meters per second because when it hits the ground, the vertical component is down. So I'm going to bring that over here. It's drawn down, so I'm just going to put the 104 meters per second here. My horizontal is 173 meters per second. So to find VF, what do I do? Well, I've got a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. I can use Pythagoras. So the final velocity is going to be 104 squared plus 173 squared. Take the square root. So square root of 104 squared plus 173 squared. Take the square root. My final velocity is 202 meters per second. I now know that it impacts the ground at 202 meters per second. Now what I need to know is what angle does it hit the ground at? The angle I'm really interested in is this angle here. Because this angle will let me say that it hit the ground at so many degrees below the horizon. If I said the angle, this angle here, it would imply that it's going up at that point. So to find that angle, I know that that angle and this angle are the same, so I'm going to use the inverse tan of this over this to find this angle. So the angle I'm looking for is the inverse tan of 104 divided by 173, and that equals 31 degrees. So I now know it's 31 degrees below the horizontal. So my final velocity, the full final answer, is 202 meters per second, 31 degrees below the horizontal. The one thing you got to remember, a mistake that comes up often, is that students find V2 vertical and use that as the final velocity. It's not. It is just the component of the final. The final is made up of the vertical and the horizontal.